Welcome to Cecino here at Tronica. Uh, joined by Leo Peng. Nice to see you, Leo. Nice to see you, Trevor. <laughs> so we're standing here in front of your uh, selective soldering system. Um, yes. Does it have a model number, this one? Uh, the Mass I-2. The Mass I-2. Yes, it's for mass production, please. <laughs> uh. OK, well named. Well named. So a couple of new features on the machine this, this week. Yes. Uh, especially on the fluxing side. Yes. Do you want to tell our viewers a little bit about what is new? OK, so for this machine, this is equipped with two fluxers, OK? so. As customer need, they can choose to use one drop jet fluxer and one spray fluxer. Okay. okay, so in this way, they can accommodate for two different flux. Okay, okay. yeah, so, so, so... So why would they need two different fluxes? I mean... Okay, for example, this customer, the EMS company, maybe they have some requirement from the customer. Yeah. Okay, so some customers, they ask, we need to use the low clean flux. And then another one said, I, I, I use, use the echo based. Okay, right. so... You don't so need typically to. Typically, this would be for a company that's doing maybe high mix, and the yes. so one job comes along, it needs the, the, the one type of flux. And the yes. Next job comes along, it needs a Yes, flux. yes. They don't need to stop the nine to do, do some change. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, and of course, this system here comes along into the then goes into the main chamber where you've got preheating. Uh, yes. For heating, you've got yes. convection on the top. Yes. And infrared on the bottom. Yes. So for preheating zones, we can also put the thermal couple to check mm -hmm. the board temperature, the, right. the board surface temperature. Right. So that means it can not only control the zone's temperature, it can really monitor the board's temperature. This is very important for some customers. It has uh, very sensitive components on the board. So, yeah. so, so you've got thermocouples actually attached to the substrate, and that measures that? Uh, yes, it was infrared. Right. infrared. Yes, okay. yes, okay. yes. Um, so then we take it forward to the end of the process where, again, you've got uh, a preheat. Yes, at uh, top. On the top, which, yes. is, which is infrared again. Yes. But uh, then you've got two interchangeable pots on the bottom. Yes. Um, so for these two uh, soda pots, okay, so it says individual Z access. Mm -hmm. That means if the customer use the same soda in it, okay, they can use one big nozzle and use another, a small nozzle. So they can use the big nozzle for the big connectors yes. and the small nozzle for some very small clearance products. Right. Okay, and then another way they can use one soda port for needed and another port for need free. Right. So when they change the process, very yeah. easy. Yeah. I think that's great that you know to have that amount of flexibility. Yes. Especially yes. for companies that are doing a lot of you know, some, some of these manufacturers are doing small runs, they're doing five or six turns a, a day. Yes, uh, yes, so, exactly. So, so it's important to have that flexibility built in there. Yes. Uh, great, okay. Yeah. Super. So, um, well, it's great to see new innovations keeping coming along. I think yeah. it's, a, it's the first one I've seen with, with, with dual fluxing uh, points in it. So, yeah. uh, so this is why our company come from, smart and steady innovation, you know, <laughs> keep innovation. <laughs> You're doing well. Great. Well, thank you very much, Leo, for showing it to us today. Uh, thank you, Trevor.